I think it's great. I think they actually are actually watching out for the employees. You know, everybody says, uh, watch how your employer treats the employee during a time of crisis. And they're treating us good. They're letting us do what we can to stay safe. And we're trying to provide them anything we can possibly do to keep them safe. I've worked for the Division of Highways for 20 years. I have worked out on the road for 17 of those 20. I've been down here in the storeroom for close to three. District one, as I can see, because I'm seeing like the counties and they're coming into me and all sort of stuff, we're working together as a team. And this is when you know your team's strong, is when we don't have somebody trying to disrupt this team. Uh, when we was given the memo to get these packages together for the crews that are out on the road that don't have the ability to be in an office setting so they would need to have something on the road, we got the comptroller section, everybody in that, and we all came in and filled bags and we were given this memo on Thursday and we had them ready to go out the door Friday morning. So we got it as soon as we could because why wait? When, and everybody jumped in and kind of dropped everything that they, we were working on and went and got together and got the bags done. The reason why we worked so well together is because we know we had a job to do and we knew what we had to do to get it done and it wasn't about us because we had the supplies. We had all the hand sanitizer and the, we had it, but people didn't out on the, on the roads. That's why we got together. It wasn't for us, it was for our workers. We've had to implement a lot of storeroom protocol or as you would say, um, we've completely blocked out any foot traffic or any traffic at all except for the storekeepers and I down there. Um, we're staggering the shifts. So we just have one comes in and the other two do classes and stuff from home. And then we just circle it like that. And that kind of keeps us safe because we're getting all the deliveries in from outside people. And we don't know where the deliveries had been or anything like that. So we're getting them in. So we've actually had to block off and do a whole new protocol of how to get supplies. I think we're doing awesome. West Virginia is coming together, doing what we're asked to do. And just like I said, anytime there's a crisis and you have to get together and do what you have to do to get over the crisis or it will just keep getting worse. I would like to actually thank Travis Knighton and Desi King for getting with us and being patient with us and letting us know what is expected because if you don't know what's expected and you have no clear objective, then you're just out there wondering. They told us what we needed to do. We got it done. It's because we want to help the whole district and everything and just to help everybody out.